You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. I am Bella. Listen as Bella explores a wide variety of topics such as angels, archangels, ascending masters, and light workers. Bella also utilizes Reiki energy healing, the chakras, crystals, meditation, and the importance of grounding and cleansing your aura using oracle cards to reach your spirit guides. So now, please welcome your host, Bella. Good evening, friends. Welcome to the I Am Bella show on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Bella. Welcome. My call-in number is 866-451-1451. Please feel free to call in, start a little chat. I can do a short angel card reading for you. I got a new deck of angel tarot cards that are just lovely, extremely accurate. How about giving me a call? We can try them out. 866-451-1451. Starting out tonight with a small saying and or prayer. This is a mantra. It's called, I am. I am. These are the most powerful two words because what you put after them shapes your reality. I am strong. I am brave. I am beautiful. I am hopeful. I am smart. I am hilarious. I am not alone. I am grateful, I am happy, I am enough, I am love, I am worthy, I am. Write it down and say it out loud. You are who you say you are. I am who I say I am. By saying and writing down your affirmations, You train your mind to believe them. Your words and affirmations become your reality. Only say things that you want to be realized in your life. So remember, two very important words are, I am. And then you can say, Whatever you want to say after that, that is good. I'm going to talk tonight about the sacred symbolism of the owl and what it means. From time to time, we all need help summoning up courage to see the truth. Do you need to discover what is really being said. An owl as a spirit totem and power animal can help. And an owl is definitely indeed a power animal. Owl spirit teaches you to harness the strength needed to open your eyes and look into the shadows. Delve deeply into the owl symbolism and the meaning to find out how this animal spirit guide can illuminate and educate you. 
When you seek an owl out, it is a way of reaching your higher self and truly seeing things from a very, very spiritual perspective. This vantage point allows you to open doorways into other realms and connect with ancestors, angels, and the divine. The owl has a strong connection with the element of air. You travel with the owl spirit to the heavens and soar through the halls of the Ashkash records. The owl will show you things that might otherwise remain hidden to you. So be open to seeing things in a whole new way. You can't deceive an owl, which is why this specific spirit animal reminds us to remain true to ourselves, to our voice, and to our own vision. The owl does not tolerate illusion or secrets. If there are skeletons in the closet, you can trust the owl will find them and start house cleaning. In the Greek tradition, the owl was also a protector. It was believed that an owl flying over a soldier or army predicted victory because the owl would remain extremely watchful. As a creature of the night, the owl is regarded as a gatekeeper to all the other realms, particularly the souls of the dead. In some stories, this bird actually accompanies a soul so it doesn't get lost on its journey. In the Native American tradition, the owl represents sacred knowledge. Overall, the owl is a symbol of being able to navigate any darkness in our life. This spirit brings clarity, profit, inklings, and a very strong connection with the mystical world. When an owl wings its way into your life, and you have the opportunity to become far more observant with it. Settle down on that tree limb and just watch. Just observe, leisurely observe it. You will be so amazed at how much life goes by when you're not running around so much. You'll notice a lot of important details that you just didn't see before. This world is filled with layers and layers and symbols and symbols and meaning after meaning. And the owl gives you new eyes with which to see those. And you might ask, you know, how does this happen? But an owl's eyes adjust in an instant from telescopic to microscopic. With an owl energy surrounding your soul, you can look into your past, present, and future with an uncanny accuracy. We must all be aware that as a spirit animal, an owl often calls on us to release the parts and put down burdens that hold us back. You have to face your shadows and your fears, then move beyond them to find your true happiness. We have to go to a break. You are listening to I Am Bella on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Bella. We'll be back in just a few moments. Have you ever felt like no one is listening? 
or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future. Future, all in one, wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Well, I'm back, folks. This is Bella on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Bella. My toll-free call-in number is 1-866-451-1451. And right now, I have a caller on the line by the name of Susan, and she is having some difficulties at work. Um, And while I do the spread for you, why don't you go ahead, Susan, and explain to our listening audience what the problem is, and I will spread out the cards. Hi, Bella. Thank you. Um, I've been with my employer for 10 years, and I've been a loyal employee to them. Um, I'm having issues with a coworker that's there that's been there about three years. And she always seems to want to pick fights with me and cause a lot of tension in the office. And it's gotten me to the point where I'm just ready to up and quit, which, of course, I can't do that. I would ha- I have to find another job first. But I just want to know what the proper procedure should be because our supervisor has no backbone. And I think she's actually afraid of this employee, too. That she's trying to blame this on both of us um, when I just want to try to get along with everybody and do my work like I've been doing for the past 10 years. Okay. Now, as I'm setting these cards out, my first question I want to ask you is, who is your immediate supervisor's boss? And when I say who, I probably meant to ask, is your immediate supervisor's boss on the premises? Yes, he is. Have you ever thought of talking to him? Um, no, because he's he's elderly, he's 87 years old, and he just doesn't like to hear any kind of controversy at his age. So I really couldn't go to him and say anything. Okay. All right. Um, Have you told your current supervisor that you are going to engage in looking for another job? No, I have not told her that. One of the first cards I pulled says, seeds will be planted. A temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. Because the reason I asked you that, Susan, was because... If you plant a seed, so to speak, in one's mind, it might get your supervisor's mind thinking, I may lose a 10-year employee because of a three-year 
employee. Does that make sense? That this has yeah. totally gotten out of hand. Yeah. I may need to step in. Now, this totally has to be your choice. Okay. And if you do this, I the, the card is saying that there is a temporary pause in action. And I, I emphasize the word temporary, that she will probably talk to this other employee. And there will be, I repeat, temporary pause at this em- other employee may temporarily knock it off. Okay, now let's see what the next card says. This will start the end of a phase of this situation. Okay, so what I'm saying is she will probably get the hint and move on. The card says release Archangel Azrael. She, you know, she's on your side and you will have an emotional release once this person leaves. Do the you next, think this person will leave? That's what the cards are saying. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they on that subject. Um Have you ever thought of going into any kind of self-employment? Uh, no, I have not. Um, okay. There's a previous job that I had um, about 15 years ago, and I think they're in need of somebody to work in the office. So one of my previous co-workers is um, going to look into that for me. Uh, I don't know card if that's says a good that, idea that right or not. Now you, have, you, you definitely have fears surrounding money at this time, and you should have the wisdom to accept help from others. So that is telling me, I'm not saying financial help, but as far as you said, like you have someone that knows someone that may need help. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if that is the route that you want to choose, accept that help for the other job. Make sure you are paid comparably and that you have the benefits that you need. Do not, under any circumstance, take a pay cut. Okay. Don't underestimate what your value is, Susan. Because okay. this guy said at my previous job, he said that um, he praised my work and that, that I was a good employee in that. So I feel confident about that. This is saying, you know, um, you're doing right now too much work. You need to accept help from others. Right now, your life is out of balance and you're going to have some stress related health concerns if you don't calm yourself down. I know. That's what I've been working extra and I feel like I'm not appreciated by my immediate supervisor, even mm-hmm. though the owner does appreciate me, which I do know that. Okay. But my immediate supervisor, I feel, does not. And I've been working extra and I just feel like I get criticized for it. Then you need to advise your supervisor that you may don't say don't go in threatening you need to advise your supervisor that you you may be forced to look for employment elsewhere if the situation cannot be corrected but you certainly would like the situation to be corrected because you really don't want to go anywhere but Correct. something must I be don't. done I- you, know, you you have to you know don't don't go in threatening just state the fact Please, you have to handle the situation. You are the supervisor here. I don't want to go anywhere. Well, Mm -hmm. whoever your supervisor is, you have to insist that she needs to straighten out the situation. That you don't want to go anywhere, but if it doesn't get, you know, straightened out, then you will be looking for another job. And this has been going on for several years um, since this person started. So, Excuse me. I mean, I, I have, have no problems this. in the past with previous employees. Uh, Susan, if you could stay on the line, I have to go to a break, and we'll be right back with you if you want to hang on. I thank you for listening. This is Bella on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Thank you for listening to the I Am Bella Show and my guest Susan. 
We'll be back in just a few minutes. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current and concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Essential Nutrients, LLC, is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of Essential Liquid Nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take Essential products today and start to measure the difference. This is Bella coming to you from the BBM Global Network and Tuned In Radio. Thanks for tuning in. To the I Am Bella show. I believe we're back with Susan. Correct, yes. Susan? All yes. right. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Um, the third card I pulled from you is that when we're done with this specific situation, you will have contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project so this is going to go full cycle one way or another however you choose to play it out whether or not you decide to stay within this company or decide to go with the other company Um, you just remember where you're at now if you're making a, a fine wage and good benefits way out if you just really do want to go somewhere and pick and choose your battles you may be better off just to not pay attention to this other person and it will just go away just shut down when she's around if she is to do something and it is your job to tell her to do it tell her what to do and just leave it at that there need not be any more conversation between the two of you. Does that make sense to you? Yes, that's what I try to do. But she's the one that she just she tries to instigate it all the time. And I'm not looking for fights. I'm there to do my job, do my work. And well then, she just keeps instigating it. Just take it. If you mm-hmm. don't say anything, eventually she's just going to stop. If, if you just don't say anything, she's going to stop. Okay, just ignore her then. Just ignore her. Um, the next card says that um, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, that you are at a stalemate. You're pre- no, someone is pretending there is no problem. This relates to your manager. She's pretending there is not a problem. She's at a stalemate, and she is unable to make a decision in this situation. She does not have the capability to do that. She's not. You're right. She's not strong enough. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's going to have to buckle up. But with all due respect, you're telling me that this other person is in her office all the time. So what is she going to do? Correct. 
Yeah, okay. she's in there talking to her business and personal all almost all day long. So, but then does she not have to get approval from her boss to dismiss someone? I'm not sure. Okay, because if she, I'm getting, my intuition is telling me that she has to get permission from her boss, which you are telling me likes you, okay? He's mm -hmm. not going to give the approval on that. She is intimidated by her boss. She's not going to make a move without telling him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. And that girl that causes the problem, she must have like a split personality because she'll kiss up to the owner, to the boss, and to other employees, but she she hates me for some reason. Mm -hmm. And I don't mm -hmm. know if it's because she's jealous of me and my job status. I don't know. What is this? Uh, are you able to give the first name of her? Uh, yes. Robin. Go ahead. All right. Robin. Is I, I got it. I'm, I'm talking to my pendulum. Just a minute. Okay. The pendulum is telling me there's no jealousy there. So that is not an issue. <clears throat> Actually, the pendulum is telling me she's just basically a nasty person. End of discussion. Whether it would be but you she has, or any... She has sides to her, like she, she's nicey-nicey and kisses butt, but then she can be nasty, very nasty. Let me see. Okay, they're not, they say, no, she does not have two personalities. Let's see if she has more than two. I got a hit, I got a, an intuition hit on three, but let's see what the pendulum says. She's actually paranoid, schizophrenic, and she has three personalities. So you're oh, dealing with someone it. who has that has three different personalities. Oh, I've seen when I, them all. Yeah. When I tap into her energy also, <clears throat> I'm seeing someone that is <clears throat> very confused. <clears throat> um <clears throat> I'm getting um feelings in my throat of wanting to like she almost has like panic attacks <clears throat> and then wanting to scream. I'm getting it up through my throat chakra. She, um, I don't know if she, well, you know what, Susan, I really can't say much more of what I'm, I, I can't do it. Um, I'm, I'm live on air. Um, yeah. if you want to talk to me yeah. at some point in private, I can do that with you. Um, but I, okay. I can't say what I have coming through on, on, on air. I apologize to you. Okay. I understand. I understand completely. Okay. Okay. All, all right. right. Thank um, you for I'll, your help. Bella. All, right. all right. We'll talk mm -hmm. to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right. All right, I was talking earlier about the owls. Oh, well, geez, folks, we got to go to another break. How about that one before I go back and talk about my good old spiritual owl? So this is uh, Bella on the I Am Bella show. You are listening to me live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be back in just a few moments. Thank you for listening. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four 
artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at L'École des Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com, and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the B. BBM Global Network. Welcome to the I Am Bella Show on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Bella. The toll free number to call in is 866 451 1451. I believe I have a caller on the line by the name of Peggy. Good evening, Peggy. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. How are you? Oh, good. Good. Thanks. What can I do for you? Well, I just want to know if you had any thoughts about my daughter. My daughter has just got a great job. She has a really nice boyfriend. He's been unemployed. and He can't find a job. And I wondered if you had any thoughts about the future of um, their happiness or you know, is he going to find a job soon? Okay, I need the first name of your daughter and the first name of her boyfriend. Kay and George. All right. <clears throat> Is George a mechanic? No. What does George do? Well, he's had a variety of jobs. Um, okay. And right now, I think he's probably willing to look at anything. Why do I keep seeing him in a mechanical field? Can you explain that to me? Well, he's he's very handy. You know, okay. real good fixer upper. Handyman, but yeah, around the house. But not with vehicles? No. Driving uh-uh. vehicles? How about driving vehicles? Well, what about? He, he was driving a truck. Okay, because that. It was like delivery stuff. It was what kind of stuff? Like delivering things long distance. Okay, so he was an, uh, an over the road truck driver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there was issues with that. Um, yes. Yeah, I see that. He'll get something. He's not going to get a career. He'll be getting a job but nothing career-wise. It, it's just, he will be the type of person that will go throughout his life having jobs. By no means is this person lazy. He is just the type of person that will have jobs. Oh, okay. Well, do you see happiness for them? Let's see here. Uh, 
Uh, how long have they been together? Oh, about a year. Is Kay pregnant? No. Are you 100% sure? Yeah, I would, yes, I would say that, yes. Okay, well, I'm just going to tell you at this point in time, in the future, you will be having the first child that she has will be a granddaughter. Um, you're, you're, you're asking me if, if they will be happy, uh, that answer didn't come up, but what I saw was a granddaughter. Healthy? Yeah, no problems there. Uh, I just saw the stork and when I see a stork and when I, um, identify gender, um, there's a bandana around the stork. If it's pink, it is a girl, and if it's blue, it's a boy. That's how I know that someone is with child or going to be with child. And um, I, so, she, I, you know, whether it will be with um, George or not, that I can't tell you. Um, I'm seeing that she may find someone else in her life, to be honest with you. Really? Um, uh, I'm seeing a 50-50 shot of them lasting. I'm seeing her moving on to just someone else. Um, someone that you, you approve. You're, you're not going to have, you're not going to have any kind of a, a bad feeling about him or anything. I just think you're just used to George is what it is. They're, they're together. I mean, they live together, everything, you know. But, I understand that. But I already that. have a granddaughter, so when you, you know, you say that, you're not, that wouldn't be confusing with the granddaughter I have now. I don't believe so, no, ma'am. Okay. I well, don't Bella, believe so. thank you so much. Thank you for okay. taking my call. Thank uh, you. No problem. All righty. Bye-bye. You bye have bye. a good evening. Oh, you too. Bye-bye. All righty. So, Bella is back to working with this big old spiritual owl, and owls honor us with the ability of a second sight, something like, I have a second sight because I have a third eye that you really can't see, but I can see through. So, no, I don't have this big third eye on my forehead if you're trying to envision what I look like. These birds have hearing that is quite literally like a perfect stereo. Boy, I wish I had that because I'd be hearing a lot of stuff. Their ears are not symmetrical. Therefore, one is higher than the other, and this allows sound to be heard separately in each individual ear. An owl, as a spirit guide, can aid you in hearing what is really being said despite the words and the emotions coming from the messenger. When you know an owl as a totem animal, you'll find your connection with the yin of the universe growing stronger as will your lunar cycles. Embrace the inner oneness and listen to your spirit guides. Listen to your angels by the light of the full moon and really tune in and listen to that inner voice of yours. Owl as a totem animal opens up the doorway to seeing many, many spiritual things. This is Bella on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. This is the I Am Bella Show. Off for a few minutes on a break. I'll be right back. Thank you so much for listening. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. 
She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern. Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Thank you for tuning back in. I am Bella on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. This is the I Am Bella Show. The toll-free number is 866-451-1451. Okay, finishing up with the owl as a totem animal. As I said before, The owl, as a totem animal, opens up the doorway to seeing the spiritual side of the beings of the human body that house them. You will know things about people that are sometimes awkward or uncomfortable, but you are seeing true. Many people who have an owl totem discover their clairvoyance growing by leaps and bounds. The owl totem is one of discernment. Let this spirit guide you during confusing situations. Start trusting your spiritual radar, especially about people and the use of the beauty and the right to inspire your own creativity. The owl spirit has mastered silence and finds its strength there. With the owl as your totem animal, you will not waste any precious energy by speaking without a purpose. Remember, you have two eyes, two ears, and one mouth. Seeing and hearing should occur four times more than speaking. In this, you will be able to receive the wisdom the others miss because they are too busy chattering their minds away. If you invoke the owl as a power animal, you are opening a doorway to hidden realms in quiet Of the night, you'll find solace as the voice of the divine becomes very, very clear. The owl flies quietly in our lives, but always asks the question, who? So be prepared for self-actualization when partnering with this spiritual being. Owl medicine can support and help support us when the time to speak your truth has arrived. Remember, the owls are birds of prey and little stops 
the owl when they set their sights on the prize. What or whom do you have in your heart set on? Focus, patience, and the stillness can win the day. Invoke owl energy when you need to see all the details of what or who is coming towards you and is right in front of you. Native Americans refer to the owl as a night eagle because of its keen vision. They regard the owl as a conjurer who is silent and fierce and who foretells the oncoming of death. The owl is a harbinger of truth, particularly to itself, and a creature that brings magic on its wings. Remember, my call-in number is 866-451-1451 if you have any questions. If you want to call in and chat, please feel free to call in and give me a call. Now I'm going to talk to you about meeting a very special angel. Meeting Archangel Azrael. And by the way, my friends, tonight... As I was meditating and when I came on out, the angels that were with us this evening were Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Jophiel, and Archangel Shamuel. And for one reason or another right now, Archangel Raphael is right in the corner of my eye. So I send to anyone out there needing of healing, whether it's emotional, spiritual, or healing of the body, I send love and light to you through Archangel Raphael because he is right here upon my right eye. And I'm sending the symbols of long-distance Reiki to anyone who may need it. Archangel Azrael, whose name means whom God helps, however, is often referred to, unfortunately, as the angel of death. Azrael meets your soul and helps the soul in the transition of death in addition to helping newly crossed over souls adjust. He also helps loved ones who are still on this earth plane in dealing with their grief and processing their loss. Archangel Azrael helps ministers and spiritual teachers from all belief systems and religions in their spiritual counseling and assists grief counselors to shield themselves from absorbing their client's pain and to guide their words and actions. And certainly, if you are simply just an empath and would pick up someone's pain or agitation or anxiety, you could call in Archangel Azrael to help you with this pain or to protect you if you are an empath. He would be a strong angel to call in. Off now for a commercial break. You are listening to the I Am Bella Show on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And I am your host, Bella. We'll be back in just a few moments. 
Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles? Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employer employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Well, folks... Back for the last few minutes of the I Am Bella show on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Bella. I left you talking a little bit about Archangel Azrael. Again, if you're an empath and you're feeling other people's pain, Archangel Azrael can help you. And shield you from some of that pain. This archangel assists in all types of transitions and endings. Not just those involving loss and death. He also helps with transitions related to relationships, careers, addictions. He helps us to navigate as smoothly as possible through all kinds of life changes. Azrael's aura is beautiful, beautiful shade of vanilla cream, a very pale, pale yellow tone. He surrounds grieving and dying people with his loving light to bring them comfort. He's also called the angel of transformation because he works to transmute all energies from dark to light, making him so versatile to work with. As the angel of transformation, you can call upon him for many things aside from the actual physical departure from the world. Appearing as a golden cream white light, his main goals on earth are to help people transition their minds, their bodies, and their thoughts from a space of disconnection to a space of connection. I want to talk to you about a few ways that Azrael can assist you through the way I know he supported me and others I work with. And then maybe if we have time, we'll finish up with how we call him into us. He assists people who are afraid of dying with opening up to the light of surrender and stepping forward into their soul's journey with love. He's great, a great spirit to call in for hospice. With his energy of golden cream I I, I use in hospice when I'm a Reiki when I'm using my Reiki master if I am called in 
I often call in Archangel Azrael, and I see his overall appearance right before me at the deathbed, but it's so peaceful and so awesome. I can't explain it. It's just a presence that you need to know and need to be there. And so I will pick up on that again at another time. I'm down to just a few minutes and I would like to finish up and let everyone know that next week I am having a guest speaker on with me by the name of Karen Cubico. She is a past life regression expert and intuitive author. And she is an author of a book called Life is Just Another Class, One Soul's Journey Through Past Life Regression. I will tell you that I had her work with me and we did a session in past life regression and it was extremely interesting. Please tune in next week. You may have some very, very interesting questions for her. She's so bright and witty and wonderful. So until next week, we'll call it a night. This is Bella on the I Am Bella Show. Thank you for tuning in to the BBM Global Network and tune in radio. Love and light, my friends. Until next week, good night. This has been I Am Bella. Join Bella as she guides you on how to connect to your guides, angels, and loved ones in spirit and will bring forward messages that can give you new insights. Listen each week as Bella reminds to always stay humble and kind right here on I Am Bella. been listening to the bbm global network the ideas views and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas views and opinions of the bbm global network company